Hello, I'm Sydney with Mothering Mother, and we're going to talk a little bit about the CRISPR. I feel that one of the central places that we'll talk about where you are in terms of healthy eating is the CRISPR in your refrigerator. So I'll begin first with lettuce, a simple head of lettuce. If this is sitting in your refrigerator unwashed and not ready to be made into a salad, when you're hungry, chances are you are not going to want to make a salad. So we'll begin by washing the lettuce out and having it ready for when we're hungry. All right, so we've got the lettuce coming out of the sink. We've made a little basin of water to wash it. And then we're going to spin it dry. So give it a couple of spins. It really is important that the lettuce isn't too wet because it'll start to go on you too quickly. A little dampness is good though, so it's a balanced thing. So I've got the lettuce spun. Two options here. One is to just take your mothering mother bag and put your lettuce back into the bag, provided you've sort of shaken it out and got the dirt out of it. The other option is to take a kitchen towel and you put your lettuce on here, spread it out, and then you roll it up so that it's ready for you when you're ready to make your salad. We want to look at your leafy greens that you will have in your crisper now that you're eating so well. It's really best to eat these as quickly as possible after you purchase them, but to have them ready and fresh. Again, take them out of your bag and we're going to wash them off. So again, we've just rinsed off the leafy greens. I actually did it in the same sink as the lettuce. It wasn't too much dirt. And then taking them, these ones are a little wetter. You don't have to put these in a salad spinner. Again, you could roll them in the kitchen towel. And in this case, I'm putting them right back into the bag and they'll be ready to go when I'm preparing a meal. And now we're going to wash the uh, herbs. Again, best, best to do this right when you purchase them or pick them. Unlike the leafy greens, but like the lettuce, the herbs are best put into a spinner or rolled in several kitchen towels so that they dry off. Any excess water, will cause them to go off early. So I've spun that and I will roll it in a towel. I really feel that the herbs do much better rolled in a towel than they do in a cotton bag. So taking all that and then rolling it up and again it's ready to go for you. For more information on how to chop herbs, you can always look at our how-to series on that. Next, we're coming to carrots, and I've got radishes here, and I'd add celery to this category. So it's great to actually get them ready to eat. So take the tops off, rinse them. If they're organic, I don't actually scrape the skin off. I might take a little brush to it. And then we'll show you how we can have them ready to snack on in a bowl. And the radishes, just trim them right at the top. So add fresh water to the bowl and now your carrots are ready for snacking whenever you're needing a little nibble. It also keeps carrots and celery crisp, otherwise they tend to get floppy and soggy in the crisper. So now taking the vegetable drawer, have it clean. I like to line the bottom of it with a kitchen towel and then bring in your nicely rolled herbs. 
your lettuce and your leafies. It's really good to have them sitting in the drawer so that you can kind of see through here what it is. And they're all fresh and ready to use. And then for extra freshness, I'll take another kitchen towel and dampen it and lay it over everything in the crisper. You can leave it there. You'll be amazed how dried out it'll be 24 hours later. And then if you want, you can have a spray bottle of water and you just refresh it. And that will keep everything vibrant and fresh and crisp for when you prepare your meal. Your ability to eat in a new way and to eat all the fresh food that you've purchased will be based on your preparedness. So you can't expect to do everything at the last minute. So preparing your veg in advance, having them ready to go, will be another step in you making the shift from the eating patterns you have right now to the ones that you'd like to embrace. Be well on the journey.